Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Chateau Let's Play. I'm Lucas. And, and still, no one with me. I did say that there was going to be people with me. This is a new recording session, but I didn't make any friends in time. However, my other promise that we would do the Hall of Champions after next time, <laughs> I will deliver on. So the ticketer, this is the Hall of Champions, a living monument to the founders of this great land. Uh, yeah, one please. Uh, it's pretty expensive to get in here. But you make more money inside than you do than you would lose, so don't even sweat it. Um, so this is this is the the stage they put in the game for the kickstarting backers, and all of the kickstarting backers have um, a portrait in the Hall of Champions. Also, to light up the you have to light up the rooms. That's part of what the challenge is: is that lighting up the rooms. And to do it, you just blast them, blast the ghosts with these, with these, uh, light balls. And then, the room will light up, because we're, like, fixing the Hall of Champions. There's a ghost in here somewhere. Because the loom, the room will automatically light up and show me all of the people once it, once it lights up. Once all the ghosts are gone. Once it lights up. Once all the ghosts are gone. How are you guys today? I'm good. It's my day off. It's my last day off until um, the the end of my my run of the show that I'm in, um, which is called the Holiday Drumline. Um, it's very exciting and super cool, and rehearsals are exhausting, and also I feel like a total idiot in them because I'm the only person without a practical skill. I'm just an actor, and the director, Dwight Kennedy, has been very clear that I'm only in the show because I'm tall. Like, very, very clear about it. So, good news! Um, so I don't know how to take that. Should I take that as good? I think I should take that as good because I like being in the show, and so I should be glad that I'm in the show because I'm tall. Um... However, it does make me feel like kind of a knob because I'm only in the show because I'm tall. Which is nice, but a little bit upsetting, you know? Just like a little bit upsetting. Um, it's like fun and f fun and f f fun. The person have a pink mustache? That's like the only color. Um, whatever. Um... Uh, yeah, so it's all good and nice and fun and easy and cool, except for the fact that I'm annoyed because, um, because all of them are, like, sick, sick at drumming, like, really good at drumming. Um, one of the other guys' other shows is called, um, Fifth, Fifth Avenue Jam. It was for Universal... Universal Japan. Universal Studios Japan. Um. <clears throat> <coughs> oh, man. It's for Universal Studios Japan. And, um, it's on YouTube, so you can look that up. I'll maybe even, I'll maybe even post a, a link in the description or whatever. Probably not, but maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, baby. Oi for babies. Ah. Um, so that's the sort of thing that I'll be doing, except for I will be doing none of the drumming bits because I don't know how to drum. And instead, I will be doing things like leading people in Jingle Bells Chorus and playing the cymbals badly. God damn him. Um, so... I've gotten some more achievements in the time off. Yeah, look, some, some of the people have, like... Like, that person has purple hair for some reason, and, like, none of the other paintings have have special things about them. And there's Aaron from Game Grumps. wonder how many other celebrities are on this thing. Um, 
I don't even know what I was going to say. Um, I think we'll... I was looking stuff up about this game because I'm trying to completion it. Um, it's also proving very difficult, but I think I'm going to still try. I haven't gotten to the point where I've given up yet. There's a lot of hard completion elements to it. Um, mostly the two achievements that are the hardest are the speedrun achievement and the finishing the game in under... Um, in under an hour and a half. That one's really tough, because I keep fucking dying during the bosses. God damn him. So then this guy's just like a big version of the little ghost that we've been fighting. Um, he's not, he's not super hard. And then you get lots of gold. do 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 bum bum Oh my gosh, I'm trying to figure out what to get my sister for a, hol a holiday present. Um, a non-denominational, actually very denominational Christmas present. Um, oh, what was that? I was gonna say something, I was gonna say that I was looking up things about this game and I'm mad because the Xbox One and the PlayStation version have like, special bosses, but this version is the only version without like a special boss that's specific to the game. Um... Uh, Xbox One, uh, PlayStation has, you can fight Kratos from God of War, or something like that. I've never played that game, so I don't actually know what it, if, if that's the game that he's from. But I think it is. And you can, and in the Xbox One version, you can play as the Battletoads from Battletoads. And not as, you can play the Battletoads. Um, and it's not fair, because I want special stuff for the Wii version. Shouldn't there be fun Wii version stuff? I think there should. I think there should indeed. Um, I was looking up the kickstarting backer, um, stuff, and I thought that maybe after I finish the, the regular old playthrough, I'll play a couple of levels in, like, with some of the cheat codes on, because there's, like, a, a bunch of fun cheat codes in this game. Um, so that's cool, right? <clears throat> uh, a bunch of fun cheat codes that are, like, uh, not real cheat codes, just, like, uh, uh, just, like, uh, fun stuff, like, like, make Shovel Knight big, or even appropriately, since we named our Shovel Knight Poopy, there's a cheat code that changes all, changes all of the words in the text to poop, and like Poop Knight and Shovel Poop and Poop Poop, stuff like that. Poopy Poop Poop. Um, so, so yeah, that's, that's exciting and fun, right? Right! Am I right? Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, let's fight Black Knight. Black Knight, he's the black one, the Enchantress, with ours. But, but you by our side, Black Knight, total domination is within our grasp. I beg you, take my words to heart. Your safety is my only concern. Oh, damn. Black Knight's like a good guy. He's like in love with the Enchantress, but the Enchantress doesn't feel the same way. Was that the Enchantress? T tell me what... You, haven't you, haven't you tired of this charade? Stay out of this. You never were one to blindly follow, Black Knight, but the Order and the Enchantress must be stopped. Fool, you're headed down a ruinous path. The only path I seek leads to the Tower of Fate, and I will reach it. Never steal thy shovel. <laughs> Damn, son. Black Knight. Don't you love our armor? It's tight, right? God damn it. I'm not doing well. I, I Um well, I finished my I oh, I fin that's something that I could say. I uh I finished my um no continues playthrough of this game. It was pretty easy actually. I was expecting it to be a lot harder than it was. It was annoying in parts because keep dying, but mostly it was easy. Um, especially the last couple of ones. Um, and then I did, um, I did a speed run and I almost did it, but I did end up getting the beat the game with no relics and without purchase anything, purchasing anything achievement. So the only ones that I have left are the individual relic feats, find all the music notes, um, and, 
um, beat the game without dying, beat the game without falling into a pit, and beat the game in under an hour and 30 minutes. Um, so, that's fun and funky, <laughs> right? All right, well, next time on Chateau Let's Play, uh, we'll keep we'll keep playing Shovel Knight. Maybe we'll even take on the stranded ship layer of Polar Knight. Probably. See you guys next time. Goodbye.